into the Mitel product for virtualization, one of the things that we were pleasantly surprised about is that the, the resource overhead for the virtualized phone system was, was very small. Existing companies that have virtualization as a practice, um, more often than not, there would not need to be any ancillary expense from a hardware perspective, from a virtualization perspective, to just fold that uh, Mitel system right into their existing virtual infrastructure. The Mitel product seems very stable. It seems like they did their homework integrating with VM. The installation was very simple. It was very similar to a typical virtual app that I would do with VM by itself. Our impressions of VMware and Mitel bringing this solution to market has been overwhelmingly positive. Both companies are viewed as being best of breed in their particular application spaces. VMware has a long track record of successfully delivering virtualization technologies. Mitel has probably an even longer history of successfully delivering voice solutions. Mitel and VMware bringing the platform together in one environment is going to allow us to act more strategically. We can make changes, add lines, customize phones. Moving that to a virtual platform, that'll mean it's available anytime, anywhere for our staff. One thing we looked at during our phone system evaluations was can the phone system be virtualized? And a majority of them, uh, if not almost all of them, that answer was no. Seeing the Mitel solution was a very nice a nice change of pace to actually see a vendor embracing virtualization and ensuring that, that, their, that their product is so well developed that it won't really affect their production being on a virtual machine. Our process to choose a, a vendor, you know, Cisco was the front runner going in. But as we went through that process um, and looked at all the different phone systems, we asked who can do your, their, their phone systems in a virtual infrastructure and Mitel could.